If you ever had that burning question about money, it really doesn't have to be that complicated. So we're here today to answer some of your questions about money. Typically, what people hear, and I think what scares many people away from annuity, is once you give your money to an annuity, yeah, it's, a, it's a one-way one uh, direction, right? You never right. get it back. Is that true? You're handcuffed for a certain period of time. So you'll get your money back, and you can get your money back either with a set income stream, or you can get your money back lump sum. I never used to be an advocate of annuities, but they've changed, and there are certain circumstances that it makes a lot of sense. So let's say someone that's coming to me that's going to retire, and they're concerned with the stock market. From a investing standpoint, they have enough money to retire, but if things were to go bad, and the stock market were to take a really huge dip for the worst, it wouldn't be good for the retirement. And so they're a little skittish and they wanna make sure, I call it the sleep in it factor. They wanna make sure that they have money set aside that if everything corrects and everything crashes that they're still gonna be okay. So when you look at retirement and you say, okay, where's my money coming from? I'm gonna have a retirement plan from work that you roll over into an IRA or I'm gonna have a pension plan or I'm gonna have social security. What do all those things add up to? And let's say it adds up to $3,000 a month and you need $4,000 a month. Well, maybe you can take money and put it into an annuity and they will guarantee you an income stream later on in retirement. So it's another way to get another pension. So if you invest in an annuity, let's say this year, mm -hmm. okay? Let's say, let's say somebody has $500,000 put in an annuity, okay? At what point do they start collecting? It depends. There's many different kinds of annuities and many different types. But in general, let's say you put $500,000 in. Most annuities, you can start now to get at the money right away. Some of them are. Some of them, it's either four years, seven years, or there are even ones out there that you have to wait 10 years. But what happens is, let's say you put in $500,000 and you're investing that money. Think of annuity like mutual funds with life insurance wrapped around it. So you put in 500 grand, you are always going to have 500 grand. So the money is invested in mutual funds, which is invested in the stock market, but if things go really bad and your statement comes in the mail and it's only worth $420,000, if you're in an annuity, you really don't have to worry. Because if you want your money, they will guarantee you a set income stream off the highest value it ever was. So the earlier you start an annuity, usually the better it is, because let's, say, let's take that $500,000 as an example. You put 500 grand in and the market does really well and it grows up to $680,000, let's say. Then the market crashes and it goes down to 420,000 and you want to retire. And your statement comes in the mail and says it's 420 grand. You can get a guaranteed income stream off the highest value that it ever was, which was 680,000. Nowhere else can that happen. So if you invest 500,000 into annuity, are the fees typically higher? Fees generally are somewhere around 3%. They're a little bit more expensive. There are some that are a little bit more than three, some that are less. It depends upon what's called riders or the bells and whistles that you put onto an annuity. And so that's where in general, it costs you about 1% more a year to invest in an annuity than if you were invested into other things. So that's where you've got to look at, okay, I'm paying 1% more. Is that worth it for me to have a guaranteed set stream of income later on and to make sure that I'm going to have a set amount of money and I don't have to worry if the market goes down? So that 3% is every year your money is in annuity mm -hmm. is what gets shelled out. Yes. Right? Gone. Okay. Poof. Okay. <laughs> Poof is right. Uh, what if uh, someone puts in annuity, okay? Let's say you're married or you just have a child or can you have a beneficiary annuity if you get hit by a bus, Yes. what happens with the money? There's a death benefit component. And so that's where, when you get into an annuity, sometimes people say, oh, annuities are bad. Well, they're not necessarily bad if you have on some of these bells and whistles. Because sometimes there are annuities that I'll see the statements and there, someone doesn't have that death benefit component or someone doesn't have the income component to it. It's like, then, then there's the big question, yes, an annuity is bad because you're paying all this extra money and not receiving any benefit. So if there's a, if someone passes away, the annuity gets transferred to someone else. Yes. 
Is there a fee involved in the transfer? Is that an additional fee that the investor will pay? Not in the transfer, no. So I, there was a, a woman that retired and she actually had cancer. And so she took her pension plan, she took the money lump sum, she put it into an annuity. The, and there was, it was 500 grand. It went up in value to over $600,000. The market went down and she then passed away. Her beneficiaries received the death benefit of that highest value that ever was. That is where an annuity can be an amazing opportunity for someone. And that's paid out for the person's lifetime. Well, this was paid out as a lump sum, as a death benefit, like life insurance. But you could, if you're, if you're married to someone, you could have a spousal annuity, where if someone's getting a set stream of income, that income could continue on if that spouse were to pass away, kind of like a pension. Okay, so you put 500 grand in, it grows, it shrinks, it grows, it shrinks. You're collecting money. Let's say uh, you have your annuity set up where you're gonna do it for, let's say, 20 years, okay? Now it's 20 years later, you've made all this money. Can you get your money back? The lump sum. The money you put in initially, does that ever come back to you? You can, so when before you do what's called annuitize, if you go in and annuitize an annuity, that means you say to the insurance company, I want to annuitize my annuity and I want to get a set stream of income. If you do that, you're choosing not to get that money lump sum, kind of like a pension plan. So sometimes pension plans where you work, they allow you to take the money lump sum or they allow you to take a set stream of income. The same thing happens with an annuity. So you can either take the money lump sum later on or you could take the money as a set stream of income. You can't have both. So if you take the set stream of in income, then that money is gone from you forever. Well, you're getting that set stream of income forever right. and your income will never go down. Your income could only go up. So I suppose your life expectancy will be the factor on whether a certain types of annuities are better than others, Absolutely. right? If you plan on living a long time, getting the monthly uh, check every month may be better than the lump sum. Absolutely. And then also the other thing too, if you get that set stream of income, depending upon the annuity and you, if you pass away, if you get that set stream of income, there may be death benefit money still left in there that could go to your beneficiaries. So it's not like if you pass away that there's nothing. There possibly could be, depending upon the annuity that you do, there could be money left over that would go to your beneficiaries.